I'm Swiss, I was born in Zurich and I, uh, I, have, um, I studied marketing in Zurich and after a few stations I ended up as, a, as the owner of, a, of an advertising agency here in Zurich which I was able to sell in 2004 and in 2005 I moved to Los Angeles and made my passion my profession and opened a, a gallery for contemporary photography in Los Angeles. I started in 2005 before I while I still was working in the ad industry, I started to become a collector. And I, st I started to collect art on a, on a, on a small scale. But I, uh, in that time, so towards 2000, I don't know, four or five, I discovered photography as a, as a, as a visual art form. And so I started to collect a little bit of of photography and my basically the eye-opener for why I wanted to become an art dealer and, uh, and the galleries was was Swiss Balthasar Burkhardt. So I, I acquired a couple of works from this artist through a gallery owned uh, by Walter Keller. Uh, maybe a few still remember Walter Keller of Scalo uh, publishing and galleries and so he was basically the only person I knew in this uh, whole gallery and uh, art business and I asked him out for lunch and um, I told him I want to become a, an art dealer and gallerist and so a few lunches later my idea became a reality that I want to open up a, a gallery in Los Angeles and Walter was so kind by giving me part of his, of my, my gallery name in, in Los Angeles was partly his name. The name of the gallery was Scalo Guy at that time. So I was able to use a name which was already a household name in the contemporary photography world and on the other hand he I was rep representing the artists, uh, Scala represented. I also had a little bookstore in the gallery selling the fantastic Scala books. And so with this, uh, with this help, I moved to LA and, and opened the gallery in, in early 2006. The gallery is a, is a contemporary art gallery uh, working with artists who consider the medium of photography within the larger context of current art, art practices. We work with international artists from all, all over the world who are first and foremost visual artists and conceptual artists using a camera or light sensitive material to express their vision. We have a, a focus on, on Japanese photography. I'm particularly interested in artists who are concerned with today's issues and who conceptualize them in traditional genres of art and this by developing their own unique, interesting and distinctive style. Uh, or in other words, artists who will or already play an important role in the development of art history and particularly in the development of photography art history. I mean, this is a bit technical. Basically, I'm, I'm um, interested or intrigued by the, the concept of, a, of an artwork or, or a series of artworks. Uh, first by the concept and second by its unique execution. 
most of the artists I represent, I knew them from my interest in this uh, whole world. Uh, so I knew them before and I wanted to, to work with them. Um, and it was for the, the reasons why I just mentioned. Um, so, but let's say if it's a younger, less known or unknown artist, I of course, I do a lot of research. I follow these artists by, you know, maybe looking at his website, looking at his or her Instagram, by just doing a lot of research in terms of uh, how did this person start doing this, uh, who, where, where did he or she uh, study, where has she or he exhibited before, who is collecting the artist's work. I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of research I'm doing and also uh, there's like constant looking at the work that this artist is producing and, and to, to see whether there's a, an improvement, there's a, it, it, can I see that there is a continuity of great conceptualized art and when I think that uh, it's really great what this, uh, this artist is doing and it's, it's continuous and it's not just a one time great uh, idea and then nothing else, um, then I get in touch with with this artist, but most of the so-called mid-career or of course established artists, I mean, I don't need to do all this research because it's, it's already given that these, uh, these artists have a, an excellent background and an excellent record of what they've been doing in the past. Now, as we represent some 25 artists. I'm not actually really, really looking into new artists. I mean, there's maybe an, um, an addition, I don't know, every two years or so, but if I'm working or if I add an artist to our roster of artists, and it's, it's because I think it's a perfect fit to the gallery's program, to the gallery's focus, but also a great addition to, to the variety of, of artists we already represent. It, it's always, so it's always, I mean, if nothing clicks here, it's not going to, I mean, I'm intrigued by a piece of art, you know, and then I want to find out more. So something happened here and then I want to, take it there and <laughs> to, to start uh, doing my research. So, so what I do is, is research, basically. That's, I want to see, is this, this just, uh, I don't know, uh, we have this uh, expression in German, eine Eintagesfliege, you know, a fly that only lives for one day. So is, is, is it just that, or is it, is it Zeitgeist, or do I just like what I see? like a, a beautiful model or is it so I have to I have to be I have to so first it's very emotional but then I have to remove all the emotional stuff and be totally rational about um, what this artist in particular is, is doing in particular and and if it uh, if it still intrigues me after I did all this research and I've seen other things and if I'm not if I'm not a hundred percent sure then I I just wait and see what what this artist is producing in the future. Uh, digital photography in the beginning the quality was just too bad you know there was not enough information uh, in the print so you could only print very small and even the very small prints were, had a lesser quality than, the, than when it's printed with analog photography, particularly if you consider a medium and large format cameras. But this has changed also with the, with the fact that, first of all, the, the quality of the, of, of 
digital cameras has improved enormously. And also it's not so important anymore how to basically make the image in the end. So, so it, it's not so important. So the steps have become less important. What has become more important is what, what is the, the final result. So, and, and a lot of photographers call themselves image makers these days and uh, they don't, it doesn't matter how they create this image. It doesn't matter if it's a, if they make the, the, the photo or if, if it's a, a, an existing photograph or if, if it's digital or if it's analog or if it's both or, or whatever. So it's basically it is what is what is the concept and, and, and how's, how's, what's the result like. The way collectors look at it has also changed. Like maybe 10, 15 years ago, collector would not buy a digital photo. And so at back then it was very important, like what, was, what camera did the, 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 the photographer use and, and blah, blah, blah. So, so the, there were more like technical questions about it and this has completely changed. Now, nowadays nobody really asks uh, uh, what, is, what camera uses the artist. I mean, I really rarely hear this question these days and, um, and I cannot, I can't even answer it. I mean, okay, here, these exhibitions, <laughs> this exhibition we have right now, I know because it was Polaroid, but and of course, if it, when it's Polaroid, you can see, but other than that, it's, it has no meaning anymore. So, in a way, it has not changed anything, but it has just the way how gallery, gallerists and collectors look at, at the final artwork. There's a lot of developments, different develop, development strands going on. Photography as an art form has become interesting in, I would say, the 1950s in the States when Steichen became director of the MoMA. It was basically the, the start when photography became officially an art form. So then it took about 20 years until it arrived in Europe. So in the 1970s, 80s, the first galleries opened uh, their doors in, in Europe. And I think it took another 20 years until it became a household that photography is, a, is, a, is an art form. I think it was in the, in the 1990s and where it really started to become an accepted art form in a wider uh, uh, perspective. Or in short, it was an increasing popular uh, new medium in the art world. Uh, and, but also, with, uh, like with any other uh, uh, art form, it was a, a big uh, crisis in 2008, when, the, when there was the finance crisis, so everything dropped. And also the, the, the photography world not collapsed, but there was, a, there was a sharp downfall in 2008. And then it recovered again in 2000, until 2013. And since 2013, it's again, it's a stagnating market. For example, like in, in 2008, I mean, there was a, was a sharp decline in, in sales. Uh, and also situations like Brexit have a, have a, a, a very strong impact in the gallery's business uh, because uh, mm, England, in particular London, was the second biggest market after Switzerland for the gallery, as for, for us. Now, I don't know, with, with other guys, but for us it was the second biggest market, which um, has almost come to, uh, to zero since this Brexit discussion started. So that was, a, again, a huge impact, and, but thank God we have a, 
other markets uh, which are on the other hand uh, which grow uh, above average like America again um, Switzerland as well um, Europe in general like France um, Germany Italy etc and also uh, emerging markets like China and Russia where we uh, where we have uh, a lot of business which is actually exceeding what we what we have uh, lost with, uh, with 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 the market in London yes we are I just got back from <laughs> Paris <laughs> which is, uh, is our most important and biggest fair. And in September, we participated in, in Shanghai, in Photo Fair Shanghai. Uh, and in May, it was uh, Photo London. So we do participate in art fairs. And uh, I think it's still uh, very important to participate in great art fairs. Primarily, you meet the important people in your business. So, anyone from curators to collectors to museum people to journalists, anyone is you need to know in this business will go to a fair like Paris Photo. And so you have to be there just so people get to know you. So like important people in this business get to know you, get to know your program, your artists, what your gallery is doing. And, and of course you also meet important collectors and you meet really real collectors. So not just decorate their homes with, with a few pieces, but own collections of several hundred to several thousand pieces of art and you need to know these these people in the beginning i was happy if i had my costs covered i was looking at it as a more as a as marketing basically to get my gallery you know known by, by these people and um, so I was lucky that most of the time I got my cost covered and since a few years I'm I'm doing okay I'm actually doing very well at, uh, at art fair so it, but it's I think I th those days where or maybe it's, it's still I mean of course it's different probably if you participate in an art fair like Art Basel, and if you have artwork, artworks that are a couple hundred thousand or a couple of million worth of, of money, uh, I think, you know, those really big galleries, they are participating in many art fairs around the world, and they, it was well known that they made up to 80% of the, their sales at art fairs. So I think in photography this was never the case. So you make the money elsewhere and not at art fairs. But you can make money at art fairs, but it, again, it's more, it's more to, to, get to, know, to, to get to know the right people. It's actually doing very well. Um, I was, uh, I sold uh, let's say through the internet even back then when I started in in Los Angeles it was already back then was a, was a, a big part big portion of uh, of my sales went were, were online and uh, and it's it's increasing and increasing so we we actually push uh, uh, our online sales a lot by uh, investing a lot in our website and uh, uh, search engine optimization 
and everything and uh, also in, in platforms like Artsy and Okola um, <clears throat> because it's, uh, it's, 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 it's increasing and particularly photography is, a, is an art form which can be easily sold uh, through the internet because of a photograph is a photograph it's not like a painting where you want to see the real colors and strokes and the surface and everything or or a sculpture so it's 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 a photograph is a photograph what you see is what you get it's 40 percent online and increasing towards 50 uh, percent I would say 50-50. 50-50. Mm -hmm. And but since we did our uh, our um, search engine optimization, since we have a new website and everything, um, it it's increasingly coming through our website. There's probably like 90% platforms and 10% us. Where at the moment it's probably 50-50. come to me. <laughs> no, <laughs> but seriously, uh, you know, when they, when they start being interested in, in photography, they've probably seen something they like, and then they start to, you know, find out more about it. And so, and then they, if they see something, then, then while finding, trying to find out more about this artwork and the artist, I mean, they, Will probably get in, in touch with the gallery who's representing this artist and and if they see more artists and more artwork they like with this gallery they can in a way um, see that this that there is someone who has probably the same the same interest for for artists and the same kind of art so that you have like a common, common interest in, in, in a particular uh, artists or artworks. And I think that's, that's the best way. And then you get in touch with this, with this gallery and, and try to find out more and see the whole program and, and see what, what you like. So I, can, I, I see that a lot with, with my collectors. They, they almost have the same taste as I have. So whenever I like something, I'm almost sure that they also like it. And so you, or they, they, they suggest artists I also like, or artworks I also like. And, and I think like that, you, you're on the same wavelength. And that, I think, helps with, with starting a collection.